my experience, especially when I was a staff person, was that typically feedback was missing expectations. And I actually learned this uh, from reading the book, The One Minute Manager by Ken Blanchard and Spencer Johnson. Mm. So this book really just dives deep on this, this idea of setting expectations and then having expectations be linked to the feedback. And so what, what I found was, especially because I think often people, uh, leaders struggle with giving feedback, especially constructive feedback or critical feedback. And what I've found is when you set the context that your feedback is going to tie back to expectations, it actually makes the conversation easier. And usually, uh, I remember being in a supervisor training where it was shared, you know, don't sandwich feedback, like don't give, uh, you know, constructive feedback sandwiched between two positive feedbacks or whatever. So my approach is set the context. Every conversation where you're delivering feedback is you say, okay, based on the expectations I've given, I'm going to share with you all the areas where I see that you are meeting expectations. And then I'm going to talk about some areas that I could see need improvement. And for me, these conversations just were so much easier and so mm. much more smoother. Um, and then of course, related to feedback and as it relates to expectations is that you want to give feedback as timely as possible. So as soon as you're seeing that someone's meeting your expectation, like let them know, because, you know, I kind of chuckle because like, what if you don't give them that feedback, then they might change how they do it. And then all of a sudden they're no longer meeting your expectations. So give praise as soon as possible, give praise often. Actually, my philosophy is give way more praise than constructive feedback. And then of course, when you notice someone's not meeting a certain expectation, as soon as possible, bring it up. Say, hey, look, I've noticed this. Here was the expectation. Here's where I could see you could improve or do better to meet that expectation. I love it. I, I, you know, I hadn't ever thought of it. I, I, I see the, I've, I've known for some time about this connection of the importance of, you know, if you can, exp if you're giving feedback and you can put it into context as to why this issue is important, then mm -hmm. it's really helpful. Right. But I hadn't thought of what if you just literally had a list of these are the clear expectations that have been set. And like you said, just kind of going through and hey, these are one a day just going through. Oh, yeah, they're doing great. Let me send them a note. This looks good. That's that's really helpful. Um, makes me realize I probably need to get uh, <laughs> clearer on some expectations too. <laughs> right. So because one of the things that might happen is that you're you're seeing, you know, maybe an issue or something that you want to give feedback on. And then you realize, oh, wait, but I actually didn't give the expectation. So then the conversation becomes giving the expectation. So that's something else to really consider mm -hmm. when you're giving feedback. Wait, did I give this expectation yet or not? And so it changes the conversation. 